Hey YouTube. Okay, so um yeah, let me continue. I'm sorry, my phone started ringing. Um okay, so usually I don't like to put companies on blast, but this morning I got to put them on blast. Um uh sorry about my hair. I'm actually braiding it now and I'm using the silky yaki hair. Um but this is kind of like tied all in together. Okay, so this video is about Rocky Trading uh, Company, which is like a, um, a lot of you girls out there, I know you guys buy wigs, uh, extensions, braiding hair, stuff like that. Well, Rocky Trading has a lot of that stuff really, really inexpensive. However, however, I'm going to put out a message of warning. If you don't know what you're buying from them, don't buy it. If you've never used it before, if you've never seen it before, don't buy it um, and this is because um, I actually got from them hair it's called Chantel and as you can see it says 100% human hair 100% human hair human hair okay it also says on the back 100% human hair this is the Chantel collection okay this hair is garbage okay this hair is um pretty much blended synthetic it is no human hair in there whatsoever um i'm sorry if it says 100 percent is supposed to be 100 percent, not blended they, it should have said blended hair um anyway so i kind of stocked up on it um i had bought it a long time ago and I, the quality was different then um, I actually bought it because I was kind of like, oh, this is really cheap. Let me try it in my head. Well, um, I've been having a big demand for cheaper hair. And people love the silky yakky. People like the way it looks and how it curls and everything. But some people were like, well, do you got anything cheaper? You know, just kind of similar. So I was like, okay, well, let me try this out and see how it works. And maybe, you know, people will like it, right? So I tried it out. It seemed okay then. I'm like, okay, well, let me just stock this one for my clients, you know, when they want to get their hair done. They want to use a cheaper hair. They don't really necessarily want something a little better quality. So anyway, um, well, actually, not a little better quality, but a lot better quality than this. So anyway, um, I bought about 12 packs of this hair. Um, it was enough to get over the minimum, uh, their $75 minimum. Uh, when I received it here, I realized what it was. It was not 100% human. It was uh, synthetic. And that's because I took off a strand and I pulled it, you know, just to do the human test. And instead of it stretching and snapping like human hair, it stretched and then stretched and stretched some more and stretched some more. Which means that it is plastic. Okay. So, um, I emailed the company as soon as I found out. Received this here yesterday. Emailed the company yesterday. Okay. This morning, I got up and called them to tell them that I wanted to go ahead and make a return. Now, on their website, they clearly state that you have seven days to make a return. This is the first day after I received it. Um, the guy on the phone, he got very rude with me. Very rude. Um, I was actually asking him questions, and he's like, okay, well, it's going to be a 15% restocking fee. And I told him I'm not paying a 15% restocking fee simply because it's false advertisement. It says 100% human hair, and it's not. That's not my fault as a customer. That's not my fault. Uh, if anything, you know, that should, that should have automatically been waived because it's not human hair. It's not what it was stated on the website um, or on the package. So anyway, he told me, okay, if you're not going to pay the 15% restocking fee, then you can, um, what did he say? Oh, uh, we, we're going to take you off our customer list. We'll, we'll just like take down your name and take you off our customer list and we won't do business with you anymore. So I told him, that's fine. You know, I didn't have a problem with that. I was not angry. I was not rude to him. He got kind of irate. And then I was going to ask him exactly where to send back this hair and if I need to put anything special on the outside of the box so they could identify it as a return. He got upset and hung up on me. Hung up on me. Now, I've never been hung up on by like people from that I'm doing business with. He hung up on me. So I promptly called him back. Um, the, the first time he sent it, I went to fax for some reason. 
I don't know, maybe they thought I wasn't going to call back, but I called back again, and I got him on the phone, and I told him I was trying to find out exactly where to send it back, and if I need to put anything special on the box before he hung up on me. When I told him that I didn't appreciate that he hung up on me, he got upset and told me he didn't hang up on me. Okay. Whatever, I'm not going to play that game. Do I need to put anything important or inspe or special instruction on the box, you know, in order for you to identify it as a return? He didn't even want to give me the address. He's like, you got the addresses on the box. Really? Really? Because a lot of companies, they don't take returns through the same address they sent out. A lot of times, they'll, they'll take returns into a special box just so they can identify them. So anyway, I'm not going to not going to get upset just want to send this hair back and if they put me on the, the customer they don't want to do business with, with list I don't really care I have my wholesalers but just a message of warning when you're buying from Rocky Trading if you don't know the product that you're buying meaning you've never seen it you've never touched it or you're like uh, you know you're kind of depending on this product to be genuine do not purchase from Rocky Training because they do not honor their seven day uh, uh, their seven day return policy as stated on the website. If anything, they want to charge you a fifteen percent restocking fee that they never mention up front, and they want to give you a hard time about returning as if you are doing something wrong as a customer. So, anyway, that's my spill. Here is the Chantel here. 100% human and I'm actually going to try to take a piece of the hair out so you guys can see how it just stretches. Hold on. Okay, there's some of the hair right there. Okay, now I'm going to just like wrap it around one finger and try to get it to stretch for you guys so you guys can see that it is not human hair. Okay, I got it. Around my finger, I'm just pulling. And do you guys see that stretching? It's stretching. It's stretching. Okay. A couple of strands broke finally. But it's not supposed to stretch like that. You see? It's like stretching. Human hair does not stretch like that. Human hair will stretch and snap um, within like a couple of millimeters. It won't stretch inches and that clearly stretched inches. Hold on, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to wrap it around my finger. Okay, now let me get this strand in the camera. You see that? It's stretching, stretching. That stretched at least an inch, inch and a half. I'm just, this is ridiculous. Anyway, so don't buy that garbage. You have been warned, you guys. You know I know here. See you guys later. Bye.